For your Envirothon test, you're going to need to determine the color of your soil material. These are two different versions of the Munsell color book. They're both just as good, they're just different generations, but we're going to use the blue one today. Now the Munsell color book is a standard colored methodology. What we've got are different pages in here with color chips on them. Each page is a different hue, and the hue is identified by a notation in the upper corner. Now the hue is how red or yellow the soil is. So as you notice, as I'm turning the pages, it was really red to start with, but it's getting to be a little more yellow. And then all the way in the back, it's getting really yellow, almost, you know, greenish colors. So this is one way to organize the color book and orient yourself to which color you should be. One of the things people have the biggest problem with is where do I start with a soil color book? Now it's going to depend on your landscape. Universally kind of the standard is to start on the 10YR page. 10YR stands for 10 parts yellow to one part red. That's the Y in the R. Now, here in Utah, we have a lot of really red soils. So looking around the landscape that you're in is going to determine whether you need to start on one of the redder pages towards the front of the book. As we move to the front of the book, this is the seven and a half YR page, which is seven and a half parts yellow to one part red. As I go even closer further, five YR is even redder. And then two and a half YR is even redder than that. If we were in a really gray material, perhaps around price, we might end up going the opposite direction from the 10YR page. We might head towards a 2.5Y page, which gets yellower, and 5Y is even yellower than that. They've even taken the R off of it because it's almost pure yellow colors now. So this is the gray page. When you're in really poorly drained soils, you might use this one, but that's a very particular circumstance. Once you've identified the hue page that you need to be on, you can also take a soil sample to make sure you're where you need to be. Go ahead and break it down so that you have a uniform color in your hand and get it wet. Not soaking wet, but just wet enough that your color doesn't change because it's gonna get a little bit darker once you've gotten it wet. And hold it up against your color sheets to make sure you think you've picked the right one. When you do that, you can kind of just eyeball it and see, does it look like it matches the red tone of this page or is it a little bit browner and yellower? Do I need to switch back? I can tell that I've gotten the right page because I've checked the ones around it and the one I started with happens to be the best fit. This one is a little bit redder. So we've identified that we need to be on the two and a half YR page because that's the best color tone match of the hue. That's how red or how yellow your sample is. The next part to identify is the value, which is the up and down number, and the chroma, which is across the bottom. The value is how bright or how light colored the soil is. It's darker brown below and then it's almost pure white up at the top. So that's the value. The chroma is how dull or how bright the sample is. So you can see these are the really bright oranges and as we go towards the binding of the book, they're more gray, they're duller colors. So identifying the color tone, we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out exactly which chip in here it matches best. The way you record the notation is in the same order that you identify things in the book. First, you write down the hue, which is the number up here in the top corner. Then on the value side, you write down that number next, and then the chroma is the last one that goes down. So taking a look at my color book, it's always a good idea to have the light source behind you if you can. You don't want your shadow getting in the way. And then you move it around and try to decide which chip it matches most closely. This sample happens to match the 2.5YR46 chip the best. <laughs> 